Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray, Doraccio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus, that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to testify and cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts as the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthening their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died, give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us risk crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady of God, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us. Please stand. Sing a new song and 
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of Saint Francis, the patron saint of ecology. We ask for his intercession, most especially for the protection and care of our Mother Earth. In a special way, we include our personal intentions and for those who ask for our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gravest fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift Saint Francis was conformed to Christ in poverty and humility, grant that by walking in Francis' footsteps we may follow your Son and through your joyful charity come to be united with you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, you heard of my former way of life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it and progressed in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my race since I was even more a zealot for my ancestral traditions. But when he, who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me, so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles. I did not immediately consult flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. Rather, I went, I went into Arabia and then returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Cephas and remained with him for 15 days. 
But I did not see any other of the apostles, only James and brother of the Lord. As to what I am writing to you, behold, before God, I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was unknown personally to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only kept hearing that the one who was once persecuting us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. So they glorified God because of me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. My soul also you knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When I was studying in the seminary, most special in theology, we need to choose a saint for our class, and we choose St. Francis of Assisi because we, we know the story of St. Francis. Alam namin na siya ay mayamang tao, and yet he gave up those kayamanan and embraced the life of poverty. Ano pang meron kay St. Francis Bakit pinili namin siya? Because of his simplicity and love for creation. And that is why kami po pinili namin na maging patron ng aming klase, yung santo na si St. Francis, which we are celebrating his feast day today. And we need to follow the life and spirituality of this man. 
is simple and yet he loved creation and that is why he was um, he was addressed as the patron saint of ecology bakit kaya sobrang mahal ni saint francis ang mundo because he care the love for creation my dear brothers and sisters sabi ko nga kanina pope francis is a man with integrity, a man with simplicity, and a man of, of creation, a love for creation. Kung papansin niyo po, ano ang affected tayo today? Because of these natural calamities, because of these uh, destructions made by uh, man, caused by the our Mother Earth, and that is why even Pope Francis, our present Pope, promote Laudato Si to care our common home in line with the thinking and love of St. Francis of Assisi. That even he talked with the bird, with the animals, and so on and so forth. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Francis or San Francisco embrace the reality about Jesus who care not only for people but even for creation. And in, in, in line with our gospel, Mary chose the better part. And so St. Francis chose the better part. He listened to the word of God he embraced the spirituality of Jesus and at the same time, he put it into action. Yun siguro yung gustong sabihin sa atin ng, ng, ng ating Panginoon today as we celebrate also the Feast of St. Francis. We need to have a life of simplicity, we have a life of integrity, and at the same time, to have a life of a love for creation. Kasi tayo po eh, may, meron, tayong, meron tayong responsibilidad para alagaan kung anong meron tayo. Kaya nga, kung titignan natin, we are now promoting the, the ecological death in our respective parishes or even in the diocese because we want to integrate our life on creation. Kasi ito yung bumubuhay sa atin. How many years ago when St. Francis is promote, was promoting this kind of care for our creation? But for us, because of our kaskiman, because of our needs, we are doing the contrary. Because of our needs. But then, sabi nga nila, it's not yet too late. It's not yet too late that we need to care for our common home. St. Francis will continue to remind us, pangalagaan natin ang nilikha ng Diyos sa atin. Itong mga puno, ito yung mga, mga rivers natin, our surroundings, these, these things are gift from us, gift from the Lord that we need to enjoy, not to destroy it. Huwag sana natin pagkakitaan, kundi pag we need to enjoy it. So my dear brothers and sisters, as a family of God, as one family believing in the power of God, we need to work hand in hand, especially for the love of our creation. Because this is the gift to us, and this is a gift for the future generation. We are responsible for these things. Yeah, it's true. Just like Martha in our gospel, he was so anxious and he was so worried for many things. But Jesus is reminding us that we need to focus, of what, focus to Jesus on what is important in our life. And that is the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. In the eyes of faith, 
St. Francis recognized this urge to love God and love for neighbor. And that is why, sabi ko kanina, we need to have a life of integrity, a life of simplicity, to live in poverty, and at the same time, to enjoy what God has created for us. And that is our common home, the Mother Earth. So my dear brothers and sisters, it is a great challenge for us to take good care of our Mother Earth, just like St. Francis, take good care of what God created. May God bless us all. Amen. Please stand. As Martha and Mary discovered the kindness and love of God is revealed in Jesus in our midst, let us pray to God who is here, the God who listens. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church all over the world may offer a welcoming home to our least brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are preoccupied with the fleeting distractions of life may come to appreciate the value of listening more attentively to God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Mary, we may choose the better part and welcome Jesus into our hearts and lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying may look to Christ in their sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may dwell in the Lord's house forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you have sent your Son, Jesus, to show us the way to eternal life. May we always welcome him into our lives and have a place for him in our hearts. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we bring you, you these offerings, O Lord, we pray that we may be rightly disposed for the celebration of the mystery of the cross which St. Francis so ardently embraced through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with the strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, he be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all you have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially Saint Francis, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be Christ's eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, Thy name, thy king. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the ark of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, is ransom me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, through these holy gifts which we have received, that imitating the charity and apostolic zeal of St. Francis, we may experience the effects of your love and spread them everywhere for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead, to us God our Father, for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know the rest, Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to thine God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 